Have you been asked to calculate an asset turnover ratio and you're just not quite sure how to do it? Well, I'm going to show you in this video just how easy it is to do. But first, I want to say something wonderful is about to happen to you, so be on the lookout for it. And now, back to the video. In this example, you're being asked to calculate an asset turnover ratio, and you're given the following information. Capco Inc., which I'm sure is a very wonderful company, has sales of $1,250,000, and that's for the year ending 1231-20-X2. Assets on 1231-20-X1 were $350,000. Assets on 1231-20-X2 were $400,000. What is the asset turnover ratio for 20-X2? Now, a couple things I want to point out. Number one, that there are multiple different types of turnover ratios. So make sure you understand which type of turnover ratio you are being asked to calculate. It might be inventory turnover ratio, accounts receivable inventory turnover ratio. These are just some examples. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the asset turnover ratio. And usually, usually it's for a period of time such as a year. In this case, we're looking at the year 20x2. So the first thing we're going to want to know would be the formula for the asset turnover ratio, and I have that right here for you. It's going to be the asset turnover ratio is equal to sales, and that would be sales for the entire period, so the sales for the entire year, over the average of the total assets. So we're going to look for the average of the total assets. Thank you for that thumbs up. It's really appreciated those who are giving the thumbs up. It really helps out the video, so I appreciate it. All right, so we're looking for the average total assets and the sales for this particular year. Well, the sales, that's pretty easy. We've been given that, and that is $1,250,000. So that's our numerator. This is an equal sign here. The next, we have to figure out the average total assets. The way we figure out the average of the total assets is we're going to look at the assets at the beginning of the year, and we're going to add that to the assets at the end of the year. And once we've added those together, we're going to divide by two. So we've got a beginning of year assets and an end of year assets. The assets may go up or down. It doesn't matter because we're going to add the beginning of the year assets to the end of the year assets, and we're going to divide by two. So the beginning of the year assets, well, we're not told that. We're only told the end of the year assets because 1231.20x2 is the end of the year. but what we do have is the end of last year's, the prior year's assets. And since that is the assets as of 1231, which is you know New Year's Eve, then the assets are going to be the same for purposes of our accounting on uh, January 1st of 20x2. Now, obviously, maybe at the strike of midnight, they sold a bunch of assets, but we're going to assume for practical purposes that the beginning of the year assets are the same as the end of the prior year's assets. So our beginning of the year assets uh, for 20x2 is the end of the prior year's assets. So that's $350,000. So that's those assets. And we're going to add that to the end of this year's asset of 20x2, 20x2 which is 400000 so obviously we can do this in our head, but I'm just going to pull out the calculator. If you're looking for a calculator like this, there's several listed down in the description. And uh, you help out this channel if you get one of those. So we have 350,000. And I'm going to add to that 400,000. And that gives us a total of 750,000. That's the addition, but we're not going to stop there. We're going to divide that by two. So I take the 750,000, I divide it by two, and that gives me 375,000. Again, a lot of you could do that in your head. 
these are fairly simple numbers, but the process is the same regardless of what the numbers are. Always take a look at how you are to round. Maybe you're rounding to the penny. Maybe you're just rounding to the whole dollar. Take a look at how you're asked to present the answer. So I'm going to now take $1,250,000 and divide that by the average total assets, which we found out was 375,000. So I'm gonna go 1,250,000 and divide by 375,000 and that equals 3.33. So that is our turnover ratio. Our turnover ratio is 3.33 again, I'm not sure how far you want to necessarily round that, but that gives you a turnover ratio, which is the answer in this case. So the amount of sales would equal three and basically a third of the assets uh, for that particular year. And this information would be compared, of course, to other companies in the same industry to see how this company is doing comparatively how to compare them that's the subject of a different video but now you know how to calculate the asset turnover ratio if you think others might be uh, helped by this video please share it with them and they can also get the benefit of it and it would be very helpful to the channel also um, you could become a member of the channel if you look down next to the subscribe button there's a join button and there's a lot of membership benefits including uh, up into and including in some membership levels uh, live chats with me and priority for me um, creating a video for you if you have a particular question uh, i can create a video showing how to calculate that and many of you will be doing things for a class and so you would need that turnaround pretty quickly i do that with a priority for my members at the highest level so at the um, the highest membership level take a look at that that would be the membership level of gold that would get the quickest turnaround so take a look at that also if you are wanting to look at more videos like this please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video thank you